Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Jiu Jitsu Flow. This is a channel once again where we're doing body weight workouts based on Jiu Jitsu movements and techniques. Today's workout is gonna be under 20 minutes. Hit style, full body. Uh, for the people that, you know, some of us are strapped for time, uh, so I wanna get in and get out. Uh, once again, we're visualizing what we're doing with the movements, right? Everything's for a purpose. Uh, especially right now with COVID and not being able to train with our partners, really visualize on what the, the purpose of these movements while we're going through them, okay? As always, we're focusing on our breath and having some fun, okay? So, hope you enjoy and let's get into it. All right, guys, let's get into starting out with our warm up breathing. We're gonna go all out of the nose this time, okay? Quick breath, uh, drawing the belly button in. Here we go. Okay, here we go, standing hip rotations. First 15 seconds, we'll be going to the right. Here we go. At 45 seconds, we'll change directions, going to the left. Here we go, switch directions. At 30 seconds, We'll bring our legs together, circling our knees to the right. And switch, knees together, circling to the right. At 15 seconds, we'll change direction, circling to the left. And switch directions, we're now circling our knees to the left. Legs are together. Okay, and using these warm up exercises to focus on getting our breath in sync with our movements. Warming up the body. Here we go, shoulder complex. Now palms up, arms are gonna be straight out. We're gonna be opening up horizontally. First 15 seconds. We're opening horizontally at 45 seconds. Our right arm is gonna go diagonally upwards, our left arm downwards. Here we go. Palms are still staying up. At 30 seconds, we'll switch. So our left arm's going up, right arm's going down. Switch. Left arm up, right arm's down. At 15 seconds, we're gonna do a corkscrew, so our arms are gonna be Going straight out to the side at shoulder height. We're gonna be rotating. Here we go. Palm up, left arm, palms down. We're rotating our head. As we rotate our head, the side that we're looking at, our palm is up. The other palm is down. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Here we go, standing toe taps now. Bent leg for the first 30 seconds. Right hand to left foot, left hand to right foot. At 30 seconds, we'll do the same thing, but we're going to straighten our legs, kicking our legs straight out. We're exhaling as we go into the stretch or exerting energy. Here we go, straight legs now. Alternating sides. Keeping a good posture with our upper body. 
We're not rounding our spine. Let's our first, first stand-up movement. Toe line step for the first 30 seconds. Now we're gonna add a scoop. Right leg first. Here we go. Nice athletic stance. Tap in our foot every time we take a step forward or backwards. On balance to be able to explode in any direction. At 30 seconds, we're gonna start scooping. Right, when we're scooping, we're scooping our opponent's seated guard. We're scooping their legs back. Here we go. And scoop. Palms up, scoop. We're entering into our opponent's seated guard. We're scooping their legs back to get them on their back so we can start engaging. Trying to prevent them from being able to make that first offensive attack, right? Good. Here we go, left, left, left side now. Breathing. Here we go. Visualizing. Stepping up to our opponent's seated guard, seeing what's going on. We're on balance. Getting ready to start scooping. Here we go, and scoop. As we scoop, we're not just lifting our opponent's legs or feet up, we're scooting back and up. Show wiping our knees to the right as we stand up. We're standing up out of the closed guard into a strong base. Nice and controlled as we go back down to our knees. Here we go, 10 seconds. Good. Here we go, next round we're going with the left. Stepping down to our knees with the left, left stepping up with the left. Here we go. Windshield wiping our knees to the left. As we stand up in our opponent's closed guard, we need to have good posture. It helps if we look straight ahead or up to the ceiling. Our opponent is looking to break our posture down. If we're here, if we have no control. We want to be up nice and strong. Here we go, 10 seconds. Yes. 
Good. Let's go, gorilla pass now. We're going two hands, playing the right hand first, circling to the left. Here we go. We're circling 90 degrees. seconds. Good. Now we're planting our left hand first, circling 90 degrees to the right. There we go. Here we go, 10 seconds. Nice. Let's go, taking it down to the floor. We're on our knees. We're doing a body lift. Here we go, hands in between our knees. You can go on your hands or a closed fist. We're leaning forward, we're elevating our body, and down. You can imagine we're pressing, we're in a top mount position, and we're pressing on our opponent's chest. And from here, being able to get comfortable lifting our body, we're gonna start transitioning and do a different attacks. Most commonly the arm bar, but we want to get comfortable being able to elevate that strength to lift our body off the ground, right? Exhale as we go up, 10 seconds. Nice. Here we go. We're doing a sit through now, right? Forearms and feet. So we're here, knees are up, hips are up. We step the left foot out, right leg comes through, opening up our chest, our elbow looking up to the sky, and back, switching sides. How's your breathing? Exhaling as we go into the movement, inhaling through the transition. We're going straight bridging. Feet shoulder width apart. Bridging straight up, engaging our glutes at the top. Elbows tucked.
Good, here we go. Two more movements. Close guard crunches, right? Right over left. Here we go, we're lowering our legs, bringing our knees to our chest. We're tapping our left heel at 30 seconds. We're gonna switch left leg over right, and we'll be tapping our right heel. The beauty of the closed guard, or one of the beauties, is that we can control our opponent's posture. Let's go switch left over right. And we can do that with our hand grips and also our legs. Being able to pull our knees to our chest to get our opponents off base. The combination of the two is very important. Let's go, 10 seconds. Good. Here we go, last one. Kimura sit up. Feet are flat. Here we go. We're using our right elbow, tucked by our side, sitting up, left elbow to right knee, and to alternating sides. The elbow tucked by our body is used as a, as a post, helps us, helps us with our mobility in many different movements. This is just one example, right? Here we go, push yourself. Last one. Ten seconds. And time. Let's finish up with our one minute of breathing strictly out of the nose, right? Focusing on the nose. Here we go. And time. All right, guys. Hey, awesome job. Um, hope you enjoyed the movements. If you're looking for a longer workout, you can go back and do the cycle again, right? So start from the top. You can include the warm up with the breathing and the standing movements, or you can just go straight into the standing exercises and do two rounds. All right. So hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe, like the channel. Uh, I really enjoy and, and listen to all the feedback and try to provide as much value as possible. So uh, please continue asking questions and giving feedback, all right? Awesome job, take care, see you guys next time.